then close out. To Markkinen. Screen set nicely. To Markkinen. Nine left on the shot clock. Pretty pull up, open shot. And Marcus Smart with a rebound. Spinning inside. Oh, what a play. Good defense turning into good offense here. Finishing a defensive possession with a rebound and then pushing the ball in transition that leads to a basket to keep and extend the lead. Inside, Horford the rebound. To Smart. To the rim. He rattles it in. It's not enough just to beat your man off the dribble. You've got to finish the play with strength at the rim. To Markkinen. Help defense there with the switch. In the paint. And Al Horford with the rebound. Earns himself a double-double. Feeds it right back. Ten seconds now on the 24. There's the pick. Oops. Gets hit in the head with that pass. Lopez. Getting to the basket. A pretty Euro step. And he curls in. Sloppy ball handle. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock. Let's it fly. Two-pointer, Walker. Markkinen. Bells using the screen, trying to get free. He curls. Nice adjustment. Score the goal and the foul. And he'll head to the line for the third time tonight. That's big-time play right there. Finishing the shot through the contact and now goes to the free throw line. the three-point play. To Horford. Good setup with the entry pass. Smart's hoping for position in the paint. Whatever they've got planned, it'll have to be quick. And that's his sixth rebound of the game. comes loose. The pass is deflected, and they get the turnover. Smart's trying to establish some low post position. Defense nowhere around. A three-pointer in and out. That's not good enough right there. That's a settle type of shot. He missed that due to fatigue. He needs more lift out of his legs to be able to knock in that jump shot. Flips it up, and it rolls in. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Warford. Still plenty of time. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, sloppy with the ball there. Gets inside. Levine fires for three. Where's the defense? on the line, it'll be Bulls ball. And there's no question, they've been using defense to generate offense. It's been very impressive to watch. The Bulls get the inbound in here. It's a loose ball. Bells 
pass nearly stolen. Moves around the defender. Bell, soft touch, gets the roll. Strong move off the dribble penetration to finish at the rim. Warford's trying for position in the paint. Shot clock says 12. Strong to the goal. Unable to flip it in. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look. He just missed it. Goes here. Here's the pick. A pretty entry pass. They double him. Oh, he's wide open for that three. And they miss another one. Haven't been able to score now in over three minutes. Eleven seconds remaining on the 24. Bell, bank shot, no good. And hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Curling in, lets it go. That's good. A two-pointer. Critical possession right now. Tied up, has to make that pass. Down to seven seconds on the shot clock. Gets in the paint. Fires the three. Puts it in, a three-pointer. Nice quick decision right there. Three points straight on. There's the switch. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Sweet entry pass. Fires away for two. It's good. <laughs> Markinen gets it down low. Attacks the basket. Bell can't get that one to go either. Getting the ball to the rim is so important to winning basketball. Great offense, great look. Just couldn't knock it in. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Celtics ball. And it looks like we have a little player shuffling going on here. The Celtics get the inbound. Smarts looking for the screen to get himself open. Entry pass gets it inside. On the drive! With the foul call, he'll get to the free throw line for the first time in the game. And he's fouled. That's smart, sound, solid basketball, putting a bad free throw shooter to the free throw line instead of allowing him an easy attempt. Back on the miss, get back on the miss. Marketing the rebound. Oh, those were important free throws, so they still trail by six. And an eight-second violation is called. There are certain mistakes you can live with, and then certain mistakes that cannot be tolerated. Just not getting the ball advanced quick enough over half court to beat the eight-second shot violation is inexcusable and must be met with a swift rebuke by the coach. Had to do it there. They stopped the clock with the foul. Hey, that's good, smart basketball. You're down in the fourth quarter late, and you're not in the penalty. Get aggressive defensively. Try to get a steal. And even if you pick up a foul, you know they're just going to take the ball out of bounds. And he hits the first free throw. Free throws, their like lead that. is now eight. And Boston calls timeout. Very little time remaining here in the fourth. You're down, but you're not out. Excellent timeout here to reorganize the group, 
get them a good set play coming out. And also, we have to be ready defensively to take the ball out of the best player's hands at the other end of the floor. The Celtics get to inbound. Tatum choosing the screen, looking to get free. Gets past the defense. Nice. Smart. Looking to curl in from the corner. A three point back. from downtown and that's it time runs out the final score is 90 to 85 for Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew this is Mike Breen saying thanks for watching for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Bulls got the win in a close game. When you're able to get steals like they did here today, it greatly improves your chances of winning. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Chicago Bulls. The Celtics must be devastated after such a close loss. Sure, it's great they shot so well from three. But none of that really matters when your team has one more loss to show for. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. And what we have here are highlights worth a thousand words. There's no question he stood out amongst the rest in today's matchup. Here's a look at the numbers. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. Here are the top plays from the game. Number two. Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.